Welcome to the Full Throttle Saloon Project. Like this video, join our Patreon, and subscribe. Right now on Full Throttle Saloon. The needle list is back. A new cook in the kitchen. We got a lot of work to do in here. Talk to Michael Ballard, Liz. And Rusty's feeling the heat. And I'm ready to walk myself right now. And I, I, I can't do this. A new cover charge has the crowd up in arms. But this last minute is bull And later. Your focus needed to be your sales. The bad girl bartender's on thin ice. I'm not a babysitter. My kids don't even see me cry. Yesterday was embarrassing, but today is much more organized. The girls are showing up, the bars are already set up, so it's just running a lot smoother. Jesse's big stunt is just three days away. It's turned into an annual pilgrimage to come, you know, to the jackal show on the Thursday night of the rally. I ain't got any other choice except to get to that top of the bridge and jump. Now it's time for me to sell Michael Ballard. All right, so what you got? You can go jump off the bridge. Not gonna happen. I was like, are you crazy? You know, there's no way I'm letting you jump off my bridge. Dude, I really want to do it. I think you're letting your Facebook fans dictate to you what to do. He's like a nagging little kid. He just keeps on and wears you down and wears you down. He don't let up on it. I'm actually craving that adrenaline again. It'll be fun. I'd be up there. I mean, it'd be something I have to and just go off of it. Yeah. So I ended up striking this deal with Michael that if I could get Hal Needham, I mean the most legendary, famous, worldwide greatest stuntman in the world, if he could teach me how to get off of this bridge safely, then Michael says that it's okay with him. I'm gonna make this happen. What's his name? Hal Needham. If Hal Needham or the equivalent thereof. No, well, that yeah. wasn't a deal. Regardless, I gotta go off that bridge. Stepper to be on that stage right up there tonight. Make sure you stick around for that show up there. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for knocking. Appreciate that. There you go. Have those. What's in the report? Michael checks out how much each of the throttles bars took in the night before. Yesterday we had a lot of tills that did not open till two or three o'clock in the afternoon, and that I know that's going to bring our sales way off from last year. It's just down. I just hope the weather holds out. We got some great entertainment tonight, and we got Kenny Wayne Shepherd, so we're expecting some some big crowds for Kenny Wayne. I'm looking forward to that one. Come on, we better make me some <laughs> punch in the nose. We don't make me some damn money tonight. The Fajita Shack is open. The Fajita Shack is under new management, my friends. Good morning, guys. No more Fajita Mike. I gotta get some pizzas cooking. Fajita Mike's replacement, Rusty, has been struggling to keep things under control. Has anybody seen my pack of cigarettes? Oh, man, I know where it's at, too. I got to go to the main kitchen. Let me see if it's still there. I try to do my job. I try to do it well, and this is all I'm here for. I'm trying to make some money. I'm getting married Monday. I'm getting a wife and three stepsons. <laughs> Behind the seat, remember? It's my first year here. I've been here for two months trying to help them put it together. I thought I was doing a good job, but... Maybe I'm not. Is Scott back here? So I was checking in with Scott Bussy out back just to kind of see what was going up on the main stage. The Vlog Girls are definitely not going to perform on Tuesday with Ted. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking that maybe on Monday night that we'll let the, the one-man band go up in front of Dude. I was told by Angie that she had a conversation with Michael that no matter what you said, that it's Michael's stage, not Jesse's. I don't really care. It's just I just need to know what performance is playing on the stage. So they need to get it together. The understanding that I had that we were going to take everything to the next level, you know, for the throttle brand, and we were going to have a variety of stuff on the main stage. Angie's put her foot down, and she's saying that she's going to be on that stage with the Flock Girls every single night of the week. 
Angie says that behind closed doors at night when y'all are having your damn little pillow talk, that she's damn coerced you into doing away with the variety thing and the flock girls are on the main stage. Coach Brandon, I don't know what we're doing at main stage, I told her that, but I can tell you that I did watch the show last night and it was a whole new dimension to it. All the new stuff that they added, they did a great job last night. I was proud of them. She's got the one thing when they go to bed at night, she's got the one thing that trumps all of us. She is his cross to bow. Finally shows up, you know, two or three days later than what we actually needed her. She's jumping in there and trying to take control. You know, I mean, she's ready to show us that she can do it. What's your name? Here, I'm Matt. Matt, I'm, I'm Liz. Liz. Nice to meet you. Fajita Liz is back in town and she's in charge. And we're gonna sell some fajitas and we're gonna make some money this year. What are the the bread for? What's bread for? Uh, the the foot long hot dogs. We're doing footlong hot dogs here. I thought this was a fajita shack. Am I gonna have to change my name tag to? Weenie Liz? No, not gonna do it. You know, Rusty will be back soon. Who's Rusty? <laughs> Come here, I want all of you out here. All of you. I want you to look outside in. I'm Liz. What's your name? Angie. Angie. We need to clean this place up. You can't be cooking in a mess. We gotta clean up first. And we go, we we are gonna be a team. We're gonna do this. They need to start moving. I'm gonna have to crack the whip on these people. Seven thirty, we're charging ten dollars to get into some of a bitch. I thought we were just doing that for ten. Hell no, we're doing it every night. Ten dollars cover no, charge. No, 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 not every night. All of them. What, what, where did this I'm come? Doing no, we agreed. Fifteen on said, Jesse we, we Jack all night. No, you're just. Now. We've talked about doing the, the, the $10 minimum for Ted Nugent and such, but I mean, I mean, not, I mean now he's talking about every night. You know, I, I just, God, I hate to see that. We've built this brand on the fact that there's not a cover charge. <laughs> we gotta make money, Jesse. There's some better method than popping it on everybody right after the rally starts. Let me tell you, last year, me and you went through all this and you said, don't do it. I've been out there screaming, free, 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 free for this whole year. Just don't do it this year. Next year is a whole different story. I won't scream free all year long, and you can do a cover charge next year. Just no, don't no. do it this year. Don't do it. Don't start that up again. I'm down. If I was even even or up, I'd consider saying, let's let it fly. But I'm not. Jesse's not sitting across the desk from my banker wanting that mortgage payment. I am. And the only way I'm going to do it this year, being a down year, is to have a $10 cover charge, crap. Okay, it's set, let's have a cover charge. I just don't understand this damn cover charge thing. And you know what, looking forward into the future, I just don't know if I can see Jackal coming back here and playing again. That's how pissed off I am. Have they got that tent open? Yeah, tent's open. I've heard that all day, and then when I went to go get coffee, it was still shut down. When I came back from coffee, it was still shut down. Yeah. Uh, the t-shirt tent, I'm hoping that it's open now and running. I don't know. If we're not open, this is way too stuffy in here. That young lady right there will be able to help you at more than I can. stepped in a few days ago, and we're trying to do at least three months of work in two or three days' time. The tent's at probably 60% now. So yeah, it is a very, very difficult process right at the moment. We need to get this figured out. There's people out there asking if you're going to get up and do Angie Land tonight. You tell I don't know. They're out there I asking. don't know if I'm getting up on Angie Land tonight, but I can promise you that I'm going to be up on that stage every night. I don't know what you're trying to do and all your little it's, inner workings. It's not inner workings. Oh, bull Scott come up work. to me. Scott come up to me and said that you told him that we were not going up there. That's not your decision to make. She won't listen to me. She's as stubborn as old Emmett. I mean, she's so focused on being pissed at me. That's the only thing on her mind. The whole take yeah. to the next level Yeah, thing. and guess what I did? What'd you do? Guess what I did? What did you do? We went to the next level, beyond the next level. <laughs> if Jesse wants to take us off stage, he can try to do what he wants to, but in the end, it's Michael's stage, and it's my Michael. They're Get out of my own out! 
Our crew's got my shack up and running. I hear somebody say, hey, Peter, Liz, how you doing? So I went out and introduced myself. Hey, Liz, I'm Rusty. Nice to meet you. I'm going to come over here and uh, clean up your spot a little. There's a lot of dirt over here. Yeah. <laughs> what day did you get in? Because uh... I've, I've been here since June, honey. Um, how come there's no food out? That's a lot different than what they did last year, because these guys were up oh, early and going. I don't even know why she's here or in my kitchen, period. <laughs> I'm going to crack the whip over there because, uh, you know, you can't sell what you don't have. And exactly. you don't have it. Fida Liz has a lot of drama with uh, Fida Mike last year. I think maybe she wants some of that drama back again. I'm not about the drama. I'm here to do a job, you know? Yes. I'm sorry, Bobby, but what's the hamburger buns and the, the hot dog buns about? The hamburgers? We're doing Why, hamburgers. Well, these girls are trying to tell me we're selling weenies over there. Yeah. Big Did M you dogs. sell weenies yesterday? We sold, we sold like one or two, but the one night or two, before. Is that worth having that whole counter taken up with buns for no weenie sales? That's what Michael Ballard I'm wants. Bring, Michael Ballard didn't talk to me about it, but that's a fajita shack. It's not a weenie shack. Well, talk to Michael Ballard, Liz. I'm excited about the Jesse James beer. I mean, we've got it at the main bar now. we got it all over the property. That's what it's about. So I'm launching my new Jesse James bourbon. Wait, what's that? What is this? It's like a Jesse James whiskey bottle. So what do you think? 30 cases of it. Do you think we move 30 cases in the next six days? We ain't selling this here. Why not? I'm not behind 30 cases of this. He run in here with 30 cases of liquor. We're going to sell 30 cases. He had no clue how many shots that were and what it takes to move that. You don't think that we could down move 30 cases? Hell no. Not 30 cases. That, you don't realize how much liquor that is. Everybody sees that they're going to be going to buy it. That's a lot of liquor, dude. dude. 30 shots in that bottle right there. So 30 shots out of a bottle. There's 12 ounce bottles to a case. That's 360 bottles on 30 cases times 30 shots, 10,800. I love Jesse to death. We ride together. We do all everything together. He's my brother, ma'am. So you want me to order the same amount of this yes. as I do Jack Daniels? Yes. But he brought his liquor in in the 11th hour, wanting me to carry 30 cases. Had he come in previous to this so that we could have time to market it, they already have it here, it would be a different story. We might could have took you know, a lot more cases than that. Tell me right now we can bring those cases in here. We, we can't move 30 cases, I'm just Man, telling I'm you. <laughs> as much as I'd love to tell you, let's go bust ass, we can still go try it, but I'm not going to, we will not move 30 cases. And if I buy 30 cases from that distributor, I'm going to be sitting on them. You ain't gonna settle, we're gonna god move it, man. <laughs> Seriously. That's all it's gonna come back to. You just try to right now to hold me up to where I turn around and write you a check for $25,000. What? You don't wanna hear it. No, I don't wanna hear it. Michael thinks that 30 cases of whiskey is too much to move in a week. Well, he's dead wrong. The Jesse James beer moves like hotcakes. People are gonna try America's outlaw bourbon, Jesse James whiskey. Instead of Pat wins, you buy me two drinks. Pat loses, I buy you two drinks. If you lose, I gotta buy her two drinks. I have faith in you. Pat gets up there, he's ready. He hits the thing. Which ones aren't working? Yeah. They're not working. I've spent Nothing's so much working. Time. We're still in need of one, two, three, 
four or five credit card machines up and running. So we are having a little bit of um, confusion there. Jody, do you know anything about these credit card machines? We've had a big issue with credit cards, machines not being up and going in all the facilities. And uh, you know, that the t-shirts the are a huge part of our company. Listen, I got a big problem. I have no credit card machines working anywhere. It's killing me. I like, like I'm telling, I'm, when I tell you that, I'm talking $10,000, $20,000 a day. Right. It's killing me. So I don't I give just... a f about nothing else right now except the okay. machines, right? The front 10, it's a huge part of our income, and I'm, I'm pissed because it's not open yet. You don't so you're saying you've already been through and cleaned it? Oh, yeah. This thing's been thoroughly cleaned. You know what? what I'm just going to say this out loud. You clean like a dude. I'll run it by myself. I can run this and that and that. I'll do it all. They pay good money for these drinks and fajitas, and I want them served up right. They kind of have a system going on in here. I don't mess with them. And they, they do it very well. Do they? Yes, they do. You show up today. You know, if you think you're in charge of something, where have you been for months now? To serve good food. Yeah, maybe she might be able to sell food, but I don't think she really knows how to operate a kitchen. Those trays, OK, you got these all on ice. We need to make sure that that ice stays cold in there if you need ice. Do you speak English? I'm going to have to crack on it in a minute, because all my guys are really upset right now. That's going to stop here in a minute. I'm serious. Okay. They all going to get ready to What do you want to do? Just stand here? No, do what you got to do. Nobody's going to push this around. I brought my boxing gloves. I've been taking too many years of kickboxing to let anybody push this around. Hey, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Please don't leave me. I love all of you. Please don't quit. You all are good. I love I you. I want to come in and do my job and All right. Hey, Liz, can you and I sit down and talk for one minute? They're just standing there. Right. I've never they, seen anybody just stand there. It's just your presence really threw them all off. They're scared. They're in tears, honey. I'm sorry that you guys had to do this yesterday alone and not have me around, but... I, if you they need those, well. I don't want to. I don't want them to think it's nothing personal. But, but I need you to work. My days. I need you to work. I got a fan and a broom. That's all I, I need. Hey, all I heard was bitching, bitching, bitching. And I'm getting ready to walk myself right now. I can't. I can't do this. I busted my tail for all this. I got it up. I got it running. And I, I, I can't do this. Where'd my other girls go? They quit. Don't tell me they quit, man. I'm basically fed up with the bull. Guys, I love you. Y'all are a hell of a crew. I do not want to lose you. I'm ready to walk myself right now. We don't want to walk. We just want what to you walk want? I know. Back. I know. I understand that. For me, don't quit. When I met Fajita Mike, it was like we had been friends for 20 years. I miss him. Now that I think about it, I miss him. Well, she's on this payroll, and uh, they tell me she's in charge. I'm getting ready to get her out of my kitchen. I'm doing what you always did, because y'all are great. I love you. Don't. Don't pay no attention to the drama that's going on. I'm going to Michael. I'm going to end this right now. Mr. Al Needham. Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you this morning? So I ended up striking a deal with Michael that if I could get the legendary Hal Needham, the greatest stunt man that ever lived, to work with me on getting off this bridge safely, that, it, that, that it's, it's on. First of all, let's talk about the cannon. Damn. That, you know, that's pretty spectacular. off the top of that bridge at the end of the Jackal Show. So you need to rent an airbag, don't you? I've got to get an airbag and got to borrow some of your brass testicles and and then and then we got to go get it done. But I, I thought, man, what I could at least maybe if I can get him on the phone, I could get some advice. It was really cool. It was awesome to be able to speak to a legend, you know, the, the, the greatest stunt man ever. Stuff your head under and go flat of your back. Flat your back. You know, he was more than willing to help in every, you know, in every aspect. I'll, I'll get you the right airbag and everything. You're a champion. Thanks so much, Hal. Have a great day, and, and, and everybody got to go get that book of yours. Okay, Brian, thanks. Thank you. Hey, I'll meet him. That's who that was. All right. Hey, Michael, I need you, and I need you now. What's up? My employees are ready to walk. For what? Fajita lives, yeah. What's she do? She's coming in trying to throw them all to the side, man. 
and she's bitching about me doing your Michael burgers and the hot uh, big image and all that. No, we're doing all of that. I'll get her straight. Hey. I'll straighten her out. Fajita Leah shows up and throws everybody out of pocket. They don't know who she is. She tells them, get out of here. I guess everybody was ready to walk out today. If you tell her that I want to sit, that I'll talk to her or whatever. You know, I'll say it. Thank you. There's a couple up here, and the guy, the, her husband reached out to me. She's. She's, she's she's in final stages of breast cancer. This is my first rally without my sister, Vicki. Of course, she passed away August 19th, right after rally last year. And it's just such, such a huge void. Let's, let's go this way and surprise her. You know, with me losing Vicki, I never realized how, how big cancer was until now. Leslie, I'd like for you to meet Michael. Hey, Michael. baby. I've been diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, and this was on my bucket list. We're really happy to be here and loving it, enjoying it. We got Kenny Wayne Shepherd tonight. Yeah, we'll be here for that. Right. Tonight, we'll get you guys VIPs right behind the speakers on them decks right there. Okay. So you guys stand up there and watch the show. All right. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you so much. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Fajita Shack. I'm here we are in a rally, and I'm having all these issues with Fajita Leah. She comes in, tears up. Man, you did a bang up job on these floors. Makes people mad. How we doing? I heard you swarmed in here and pissed everybody's ass off in here. Wouldn't be the first time. They got to figure out how to work together. You OK? Yeah. All right, don't leave me. Surely they got enough sense between all of them to make that thing happen back there. Hey, it's Stone and Double T. We're live out at the Full Throttle Saloon, and it's a perfect night to come out and watch Kenny Wayne Shepard. And he always puts on a great show. Looking forward to Kenny Wayne tonight on the main stage. Just guys, he said, please stay. Just stay here for now. Michael says, you cook hamburgers, do big emits, and that's how it goes. OK, we're on the same team. Yeah. They need to quit worrying about who is the boss. People have got their jobs. They just need to do their job and not worry about who's the boss. Let's talk about liquor. It's the first year, it's the debut of the Jesse James Bourbon here to Full Throttle. All right. I'm just gonna pay you for the shots and give them away. I'm just gonna, just gonna, I'm just gonna pay you for them. The reality is I've already got the 30 cases of Jesse James whiskey sitting here. So I'm just gonna pay Michael Ballard for his troubles and then I'm gonna get to promote my liquor. You don't wanna do that. Yeah, I do. You figure it out, we're gonna figure out what the cost I'm just gonna pay you for it. Okay. You're gonna pass. Um, you know what? It'll make them feel better paying a ten dollar cover charge. Fifty-four thousand dollars. So you're gonna give me fifty-four thousand dollars? I'm just gonna pay you for what we go through. End of story. That way we, we celebrated the pride and it's all good. <laughs> you're all right. We know that I'm checking fifty-four thousand no, dollars. I'll hand you cash. So we'll be yeah, right. Metal bear tub. She's where Christy was last night. She had an eight hundred dollar teal. Yeah, she took home about seven or eight hundred bucks in tips. She's more worried about dancing and playing with the customers and making tips for herself, and that's not how we work here. I had really big tips last night, and my sales were low, so that's always a problem. I have 40, 50 other girls that are wanting to bartend here, and I don't have the time to like be babysitting. It's not a hard spot. They're all going by, but they already have a beer, and then I got to get them to come back, and I've been using a pull. And, and I appreciate what you're trying to say as far as that they're already, they already have a beer and everything, but every other till that's around you, they walk past those tills too, and those tills were like triple yours. Your focus needed to be you're a bartender, your sales are your priority. I manage this bar, I'm not a babysitter, and so I just put someone else on that spot. At this point, it doesn't matter because you lost your job. Okay. Coming up. This last bit of is bull Michael makes an unpopular change. Plus, he said, y'all fired. See ya. Jesse goes to bat for Christy. They are dead wrong getting rid of Christy. At this point, it doesn't matter because you lost your job. OK. They just fired me. They should have known I was going to make big tips on a pole. A lot of the other girls don't do the tricks on a pole. I didn't mean to quit or get fired. But it did look really bad that I made so much more money. 
and sales. That's all. But I didn't want to cry on film. My kids don't even see me cry. Just let her go to dine. She's focused on herself, and I guess she's focused on her business. But I'm not going to open the front doors to mine just for her. After repeated delays that cost Michael thousands of dollars, the t-shirt tent is finally open for business. I kind of look like a t-shirt front. My God, it only took you six years. I know, right? Jeez. T-shirt tent, here we are. We're Sunday afternoon, it just got open. We've had a big issue with credit cards, machines not being up and going in all the facilities. It's better than it did before. By a long shot. The main thing is, is that got everything she needed up and going and we got that happening, I guess. Thank you. There you guys Thank you. Thank you so much. What's wrong with you? Why are you crying? I've been relieved of my duties because my sales were low and tips were high. So Angie just said, go home. I have no register. Go home. I'm done. They over were here, coming right? over more for pictures than to get a drink. Maybe they should move you around first. Before. Let me. I'll talk to them. Let me talk to them. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> Quit crying. All right. If Mike and Andrew got an issue with her being on the property, you know, I, I think we're missing out on, as far as the full throttle. She's just on fire, you know. She's motivated, and I think that motivated, that rubs off on the other girls. Is he still in that room? Why is Christy out there crying? But she said y'all fired her. She needed to go on down the road. All she is worried about is she did say that she, and getting tips. You told her learning that, right? and getting tips, yeah, and not moving my product or selling it. Now, what I like about her is the, is the you know just the what she brings as far as the circus of it all. Jesse kind of likes her to the fact that she plays around with the customers a lot and all that type of thing. But at the same time, that's not good business. When she comes in all those outfits, I mean, she makes those other girls push their game, though. You're insane. You think all look of them. Look out there in that damn bar and tell me that she competes with thought, some of them girls. Oh, my gosh. Look what uh, Christy's wearing. No, I'm going to outdo her. I think she creates enough chaos. and. and, and Everyone. That's for sure. Listen, here's the main thing. She rang an $800 deal on that spot. That's I can't damn have her out there by eight hundred dollars and then she's and then taking she's home eight hundred and tips. <laughs> Then she, then See ya. She... They are dead wrong getting rid of Christy. But you know what? If it comes down between big boobs and a big till, Michael Ballard's always going to go with the cash. Why don't you hire her as your little entertainer? That's a damn good idea. Not having it. If you're in the bikes any kind of way, if you ride, if you're in a club, if you what, or black, white, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you're in the bikes, you gotta get here once in your lifetime. If you don't, you just missed out on it, man. Mike Ballard's dreads, man, they're not, they're not twisties. They're, they're, they're legit. Hey. Hey. You wanna help me later on tonight? Doing what? Well, a couple things. We're gonna move some Jesse James beer and some Jesse James whiskey. Mike's charging to them get in here, so I'm gonna give some people some free whiskey. So you help me give away some free whiskey, you can do that, can't you? Yep. And you can work them all you want. With free whiskey, if you can't make some tips, something's wrong. OK. All right. I'm really amazed that I get a second chance, and, and I am appreciative of that. My cousin orchestrated a, a ride from where I grew up in my sister's hometown, my parents' hometown of Trimble, Tennessee. And so they left Trimble, and they rode all the way here to Sturgis as a memorial ride to Vicki, my sister, who we lost last year on August the 19th. They rode all the way from Tennessee. What up, Creed? What up? <laughs> well, my name is Keith Alford, and uh, I'm Michael and Vicki's first cousin. This all started uh, as an idea between me and Cass and Michael. Uh, to do a memorial ride for Vicky after she passed away. I know Michael would tell you that she made a huge sacrifice to help Michael get the throttle going. The atmosphere and everything that, that she helped create here is just unreal. And, uh, that's why I, I wanted to do something in her honor. How you doing? I'm Michael. I'm from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Just decided to get to Trimble somehow and then join up with these guys and head into Sturgis. I thought it was a great thing what they were doing to try and raise money for breast cancer. It's such a void that we're missing this year. It just isn't the same anymore for us, you know, with her being gone, she was such a valuable piece of it. And, you know, everything just seems to be different. It's a Vicky! Yeah. Good deal, that's awesome. Where'd Liz go? 
Uh, she come in, supposedly took over and left four hours after she got here. Uh, but she'll be back tomorrow. So Fajita Liz finally shows up two or three days late, and we got Rusty back there. He's already taking control. Trying to shove them all out the way. Who did she do? Yeah, she come in, took away the way their system was set up. She didn't want it that way. I'll tell them. Well, she had everything dumped on her last year, and then I had it all dumped on me this year. <laughs> We'll have to figure this out. I'm gonna have to talk to her, and make sure she's really got her head in the game. Because I mean, you know, she she has taken on that responsibility, so she's got to deliver. And I feel kind of crappy because I did all this, Jess. Right. But it's all right, man. I'll do whatever I got to do. From one fajita grill to another, I mean, you know, the drama continues over in the fajita shack. Desperately needing a big payday, Michael is about to take a huge gamble by charging a cover for Kenny Wayne Shepherd. They better get that front door set up. Is it roped off yet for the bank? I'm just a little bit worried about people turning away and not paying the $10. You got the ticket? At the same time, if they're that tight, they're not gonna spend any money in my bar anyway. So what's the point in even having them taking up bar space and enjoying all the girls and all the stuff that comes with the throttle, all the craziness for free? Have your IDs out. And it's a fair trade. I mean, see that see that band and get a free drink for 10 bucks? That's a fair trade. What's the ticket for? Buy one, get one free drink. Chris, I want you to come right in this area, and I just want you to hang and give me, tell me what the vibe is on people. Okay. What's going on? Are they leaving? Are they pissed? Are they not going to do it? What's the vibe? Okay. Yes, I am surprised to pay a cover charge tonight. Nice. He said there was quite a few walking, turning. Crap. Yeah, there was a good line, but they were leaving. So. This last bit of is bull. Hey, man. I'm not going to pay a cover charge. I go home and drink for nothing. Oh. Right away, there was a group of like 10 guys. They just bailed. He said, I ain't going to pay $10. He probably lost some money there. What's so special about it's tonight? Ridiculous. I'll tell you what. Ridiculous. They're going, oh, wait a minute. There's a cover charge. Really? Look, these all just turned around, look. This could be a huge mistake. Damn, well, that's not so good. Understand because he's expecting a down year, and we've we've got the best lineup we've ever had. I'm I'm truly between a rock and a hard place on this one. All I know is not happening on Jackal Night. Yeah. After some initial resistance, the crowd starts streaming in. It seems like a good deal. No, I don't mind paying ten Yeah, go ahead. Doesn't seem like that many people are up there walking away. Are they paying? That's all. I, are they paying? There are a few people earlier that weren't paying. Everyone seems to be paying now. I don't have no problem with it. All right, that's good. Thank you. Damn, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80, 100. Woo hoo, dog. That's popping some cash, man. Hey, for a good Kenny Wayne Shepherd, who cares? Thank God. Maybe that'll pull me out of a jam. Crowd building, the night's entertainment begins. Full throttle front, girl. The flame dance went amazing. I was out there holding it above my head while Gina was doing her firefighter dance. I'm like, how perfect firefighter into the flame. And I went out there and just rocked it. And it was so much fun. I could feel the heat going around me. It was amazing.
You know, tonight was our second performance, and we kicked it last night, and tonight we just rocked the house. You will be seeing Flaunt every night this week. I don't know how the Flaunt girls managed to do it, but if they keep delivering, it's going to be hard to keep them off that stage every night. It's Kenny Wayne Shepherd in the house tonight, you guys. Kenny Wayne Shepherd. Ladies and good evening, sir. Down. Keep him up. Don't put him down. Keep him up. Right now, I'm a little excited because we've got a good crowd in here right now. We're jamming pretty decent, and things are picking up. But the cover charge has created some new problems. The girls are ringing in the free beer. Free beer. beer. Yeah, you know, the buy one, get one free, they're ringing both of them in. What we did tonight, we did a $10 cover charge, and then it was a buy one, get one free. So they got a ticket. If they buy a drink, they get a second drink free. Some of the bartenders were confused and didn't get out to everybody how to work the system. So that's when you start running into problems. I think the theft is going to start escalating. We run into people stealing from us every year, and especially this time right now. It pisses you off when you spend all this money get, trying to get this thing working, and then people come in and try to steal from you. One thing you can watch is, you know, you see her take the tickets, but then there's no money change hands. She's got the tickets. Just lays them on her bar top. Yeah. She didn't put them in her register. Yeah, she's done. Hmm. I'm going to talk to her. On them tickets, you sold four drinks a while ago. You didn't really take no money and you didn't ring any money in. So they had to buy the first drink, meaning they had to pay you for that first beer. And they could use a ticket to get a second one. That's it. Okay. That's all it was. So oh, if I came up here with a ticket, you're not going to give me unless I give you money for my first drink. But anyways, buy one, get one. There's a big, huge mix-up with the bartenders on what to do on how to charge and how to ring up the drink. So it's gonna be a lot of confusion when it comes down to the math of everything to do with it. Jesse's brought back Christy to help sell his Jesse James beer and whiskey. about me bringing her back to work for me, but after all, it was Angie's idea. Hey, taking care of you. Christy has absolutely got the full throttle attitude. I mean, she is on fire. It'll take you six back home to go whenever you leave tonight. You know, that's complete bull oh, How did Christy get back on a teal? Jesse James put her Who put her on there? Jesse. And and I guess may, maybe what I when I said why don't you hire her to do something for you, I didn't mean that she could take up our bar space. I fired Christy once and all the glory of Princess Jesse decides to bring her back. She's still handling my product. It ain't his beer. He don't have no money in that beer. That's the issue I have with it. But in the end, it's Michael's money, and I promise you will not be seeing Christy again. Come in and just uh, took over. Come here, I want all of you out here. I want you to look outside in. I don't know who's in charge. I don't know if she's in charge or I'm in charge. A lot on my mind. I'm, uh, what, 14 hours away from being a married man. And this is what I got to deal with the night before my wedding. I got a great woman. She's working right now. 
Sad thing is, I gotta go home now. The way I feel, my wife to be tomorrow, she's took a lot. She's lost a lot of me to this. She loses a piece of me every night. Unfortunately, it is time to go home. We need everybody to clear the building. Let's go, let's go! Don't put your hands on it. Hey, come on, man. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Will you go get all that Z to let me know where we're at? All right. I'm eager to see how the cover charged him. Come on, Sean. Text me, I need that money. The final total is in. $40,000 on the, the door charge. Holy cow. We had a great night and a great attendance through the door. It worked out just like I thought it would. We did 40K. This is a good thing for my business, and I got to continue to do it. But for bartenders, a big night means a long night waiting to count out their cash. Next three is going to be Amy, Truett, Shelby. It's a fiasco. Everybody's put in. I guarantee you within two or three days, this place is going to be scrounging for bartenders. Fuck for you. We brought sleeping bags. We got smart. I know that when we cash girls out at the end of the night that it drags out. Getting so tired, or just gonna sleep in <laughs> But it's just part of the business. Last year, I let them go home, and then afterwards, there were so many discrepancies in their bags. By the time we called it, they were gone. Bye. So we set up, and we counted everybody down in order. Some of them was here at 7 o'clock. That's just how it goes. I'm very tired. Uh, you know, I got to get paid, too. Thank you. Have a good night. But for one bartender, it's not just the end of the night, it's the end of the line. How you put that girl back out there? Angie said, if you want to use her for some promotion stuff, that's what I did. All she's selling is Jesse James beer. Regardless if she's selling Jesse James beer or not, she's still handling our money. I don't think that you can really consciously not go out there and do what you're doing. I did pretty good on uh, the Jesse's beer line. She's not supposed to be on one of our tails, Jesse. You know, Jesse pulls that kind of stuff on me all the time, where he'll just go and make decisions that aren't his decisions to make. He thinks they're his decision, or he wants them to be his decisions, but they're not. You did great on your tips, but the sales suck. The girls can make money here, but they're going to have to make Michael Ballard money, too. You love taking liberty around here all the time, even though it's not your risk. I damn sure ain't going to be the one to fire Christy, because I think it's a huge mistake. Mike and Angel had to find someone else to go into. Let her roll down the road. I don't need her. Next time on Full Throttle Saloon. Yeah, it's totally counterfeit. The throttle's on alert for bogus bills. Oh, that's that's him. Right and I got suspect inside. I can't hear her. Bree's singing debut is an utter disaster. It's like my first time singing in. He's having an attack. And Rusty is pushed to the breaking point. It's our kitchen manager. He's laid out. 